Do you like snakes? There's a snake in today's story about Dr. Bob Foster, but it's not a harmless, friendly snake like this corn snake. It's a very dangerous spitting cobra. This is just one of the dangers and difficulties Dr. Bob and Melba Foster faced as missionaries in Africa, where they helped heal people's bodies as they did the good work of telling people about Jesus. Let's watch the next part of the Bob Foster missionary story to find out what happened with Dr. Bob and the spitting cobra. Dr. Bob was helping lots of people as a missionary doctor in Zambia, Africa. He was eager to build a hospital to help even more people. He had raised money and gathered many supplies, but they had no cement. Cement was really important for building a strong hospital, but Bob didn't have any. Bob prayed, God, please provide cement for us. He didn't know how God would provide it. Then one day, the ruler of the country came to visit Dr. Bob and asked, why they weren't finishing the hospital. Dr. Bob said, we don't have any cement. The ruler said, send your trucks and I will give you all the cement you need. God answered their prayers and provided what they needed to build the new hospital. It took several years and lots of money to actually build it. But many of God's people worked together to do God's good work of building the hospital. A missionary with engineering skills used his talents as a builder and handyman to do a lot of work on the hospital. A youth group in the United States raised money so Dr. Bob could have an x-ray machine. Then, God provided an electrician to install wiring switches and fuses to connect the hospital to a generator so it would have electricity to power the x-ray machine and other equipment. God was using the skills, talents, and resources of his people to do his work. Dr. Bob was very busy taking care of people's bodies but he believed his most important work was telling people about Jesus. Dr. Bob would have a Bible study on Thursday nights with some of the young men. This group of young men grew in their faith and became leaders in the church. Bob took every opportunity he could to share the gospel and help people grow in their faith. Dr. Bob once treated a man named Wilson whose whole body had been burned in an accident. After doing everything he could to save Wilson's life, Dr. Bob felt he needed to go visit Wilson on Sunday at the hospital and read the Bible to him. That day, Wilson confessed his sin and believed in Jesus. God used Dr. Bob to help Wilson survive the accident, but also to help Wilson come to know Jesus. Dr. Bob was doing lots of good work for God, but he wasn't doing all these things alone. His family and other missionaries helped him, and there were Christians thousands of miles away who sent money to help with the work and prayed regularly for Dr. Bob. One of these Christians was a lady named Mrs. Hart. She wasn't healthy enough to leave her bed, but her walls and ceiling were covered with pictures and letters from the missionaries she prayed for. One day, Mrs. Hart sent a letter asking Bob what happened Tuesday night. I felt God telling me to pray for you, and usually when that happens, a missionary has a special need. When Bob read her letter, he thanked God for her prayers as he remembered what had happened on Tuesday night. Imagine your Mrs. Hart reading the letter he sent back to you. Dear Miss Hart, thank you for your prayers. On Tuesday night, I thought I heard someone stealing our chickens. When I went to check on the chickens, I felt something wet hit the back of my neck. I turned around and found myself face to face with a spitting cobra. It was a very close call. After we got rid of the cobra, I went into the garage to do some work. As I was working, some chemicals in the garage caught on fire and I barely had time to run outside before the whole building exploded into flames. I believe God used your prayers to save my life twice in one night. Praise God, your friend Dr. Bob Foster. Wow! This was all part of God using his people to do his good work. Many different Christians were working together in many different ways, and God used their skills, abilities, prayers, and gifts to operate a hospital and share the hope of Jesus. Then, Dr. Bob heard that another church almost 200 miles away was desperate for a doctor and hospital. They asked Dr. Bob if he could come build a hospital and run it. Should Dr. Bob leave his successful hospital and start all over again somewhere new? You can find out in our next video. Wow, God used Mrs. Hart's prayers to save Dr. Bob from a spitting cobra. That's incredible. 
Did you know God can use your prayers to help missionaries too? Your family can choose some missionaries to pray for every week. You can even email these missionaries to let them know you're praying for them and read newsletters from them that tell you how God is using your prayers and support to help people learn about Jesus. My family prays for missionaries in France, Brazil, Kentucky, the Philippines, and other countries who sometimes write us letters or emails to tell us what's happening in their ministries. One of them sent us a letter just last week to tell us that God used our prayers to help them get some important papers that they needed in order to be allowed to travel to another country and tell people about Jesus. Maybe you can ask your family to help you learn more about some missionaries so you can pray for them and encourage them together too. Your family can also learn more about missions by downloading free missionary stories for kids at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. You can learn more about Dr. Bob Foster or other missionaries like Nate Saint or Margaret Brand. Each missionary story for kids has pictures, coloring pages, and activity ideas to help parents and teachers share the true story with kids. And don't forget to keep watching the last part of the Dr. Bob missionary story to find out what happened to him next. I'll give you a hint. There's another snake, a dangerous one, in the next part of the story. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.